everybody welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is block a or August block for the 2021 directional sampler afghan and this tutorial this uh, stitch pattern is really easy one super simple we don't need to block this block it comes out perfectly at 12 by 12 12 by 12. All right, so what you're gonna need, if you're following along with the afghan, you're gonna need the second color you chose, which mine is Crafter Secret Big Idea. Ooh, I'm sorry. In the color Magnolia Way. And I feel like you guys, right there, now you can really see the stitch definition the ridge that it leaves and the ridges are all going this way like I said this is a real easy one two row repeat and the stitch multiple for this block is five plus one so five 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 plus one all right and you're gonna need your six millimeter hook and yarn needle and scissors Okay, so to get started, since I've already got my block done, I'm gonna do a smaller portion, but you are gonna chain 41. So I'm gonna chain 16. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that's five, five, five plus one. But you guys are gonna chain 41. Okay, so for row one, we're gonna single crochet in the second chain from hook. So not the one right there, but that next one. And then we're gonna single crochet into each chain all the way down. So my stitch count will be 15 and yours will be 40. All right, go ahead and get your chains done. I'm just gonna go ahead and stay with you. I was gonna pause the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and just stay with you. So we single crochet all the way down our chain. And one more, there, all right. So that's the end of row one. Row two, we chain one and turn. And we're gonna double crochet into that very first single. And we're gonna double crochet into each single crochet across the, our work, still keeping your same stitch count. So mine will be 15 and yours are gonna, is, uh, blah, 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 blah. yours should be 40. Almost there. Now when we get to the end, make sure you're you're getting that last single. Two more. One more. Right into that last one. You gotta turn it just a tad bit to see it. All right, so that is the end of row two. Now we chain one and turn. In row three, which is the first row of our two row repeat, we are going to work two double crochet back into that very first stitch. Right, right back in there, we're gonna work two. There's one and two. Now we are going to back post cluster over the next three double crochet. So this one, this stitch may be a new one for you guys, but I promise it's super easy and I'm going to show you step by step exactly how we're going to do it. Okay, so we've already worked into our first double, so that one's gone. Now the next stitch, the back post cluster, it takes up three double crochet. So find your three double crochet here, here, and here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and we're going to come in from the back. Yarn over, pull up, pull through that stitch. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through two. Two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over, come in from the back on the right, go out on the left, pull up a loop, four loops, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have three and we got one more. Yarn over, come in on the right, go out on the left, pull your loop through, yarn over, pull through two, four loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all four. And that is the back loop, or I mean the back post cluster. So basically what that is, is a, a back post double crochet decrease over three instead of two. That's the only, the, the only difference, you know, the only thing that makes that confusing is the post, doing the back post. Other than that, it's super easy once you get the hang of it. Okay, so there's our back post close cluster. Now we're gonna work two double crochet into the next two double crochet. So you can kind of see where we need to go, right? Because the, the last double crochet that we worked that post around is a little pulled to the back. See it right there? So then that kind of makes the two or the next stitch stand out a little bit. So it's, it's kind of easy to see your next double. So we're gonna work two doubles into that and two doubles into the next. Okay, and now we're just gonna repeat that. Now we start the back post cluster again. So we yarn over, come from the back to the front on the right and go out on the left, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two. We have two loops. Yarn over, go around the next post, yarn over and pull up a loop. We have four loops, yarn over, pull through two. Three loops left. Now we yarn over, go around the last double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have four loops, yarn over, pull through all four and that, that's our cluster. Now we work two double crochet into the next. One and two. Two double crochet into the next. One and two. Now we're gonna work that back post cluster over the next three double crochet. So we yarn over, back post, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two two loops on our hook, yarn over, go around the next double, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, three loops, yarn over, go around the next double, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, we have four loops, yarn over, pull through all four. And now to end the row, we're going to work two double crochet into that last double crochet one and two. So the row repeat is back post cluster. Work your back post cluster, two double crochet into the next two. Back post cluster, two double crochet into the next two doubles. Back post cluster, two double crochet into the next two double crochets. And just repeat that, repeat that, repeat that until you get to your last four stitches. The last three get the back post cluster and the very last double crochet gets two double crochet and that is row three now row four and the last row of the repeat we chain one and turn and we are just simply working a double crochet all the way across easy peasy I'm off camera sorry guys just one double crochet into each stitch and by the end of this row, you should still have your 40. And then we are going to repeat rows 3 and 4, 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 ending on row 4. As soon as I get this done, you're going to end on row 4, okay? 
very last uh, stitch double crochet into that all right and that is the end of row four so row three repeat row three I'm gonna work it one more time with you guys to make sure everybody gets that cluster down very first double gets two double crochets one and two oops okay so very first one we've worked around we've worked into I'm sorry so now the th next three doubles gets the back post cluster so we back post pull up a loop yarn over pull through two two loops on our hook yarn over go around the next pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we have three loops on our hook yarn over come around the ne next post pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we have four loops yarn over and you're going to pull through all four and there's your cluster so now the next two double crochet get two doubles in each of them so one two next one gets one and two one more time for the back post cluster yarn over come into the back pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we got two loops yarn over back post around the next double yarn over pull through two we have three loops yarn over go around the next double crochet back post around it pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we have four loops yarn over pull through all four two double crochet into the next two doubles one and two and the next one one and two back post double again back post yarn over pull through two we got two loops yarn over go around the next one pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we got three loops yarn over go around the next double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we have four loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all four now into the next two double crochet two double crochet back post cluster around the next three two double crochet into the next two doubles back post into the next three repeat that all the way across until you're at your last four stitches back post over the, the next three and the very last double crochet gets two doubles one and two that's row three now you move on to row four double crochet across repeat three four three four three four three four until your block So you're going to repeat rows three and four, three and four, three and four, three and four, three and four until your block measures, may, remember end on row four, the double crochet row, until your block measures roughly 11 and a half. And then what you're going to do, your finishing row, so you just finished row four, you're going to chain one and turn, and we're just going to single crochet into each stitch across, and that is is the end of your block. Note we don't have to block this one. I should say it's the end of your square. You don't have to block it. It should measure right at 12 by 12. That's kind of why I'm not giving you guys a, um, a number of times to repeat your rows because you know your attention may be different. You may need to do it more than I did. But like I said, I just repeated rows three and four, three and four until it measures just right at 11 and a half. Added the finishing row of single crochet and we're at 12 inches. And that's it guys, that is the August block. This one I love because it, it it's a super simple stitch. It's something a little different than you, know, you may be used to, but it creates a beautiful design and I love it. I've got something in the yarn, like wrapped around the yarn right there. I don't know. Anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you, jo you enjoyed this block. Keep an eye out for the second extra block that I'm going to put out this August. And uh, check out my description box. I've got links to my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. 
Uh, my email's down there. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, shoot me an email and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Um, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't. And that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.